So I have to start this with the standard YouTube bullshit of um, fuck the Russian government and all other governments. Uh, for those of you who are new to this channel, I'm anarchist and I oppose all governments. That being fucking said, I think that a lot of Americans are hypocrites about Brittany Griner. And that they only don't like what's happening to her because the evil Russians are doing it. And that's why they're totally fine calling on Biden to call on Putin to make some sort of prisoner exchange for Brittany Griner. Because she's in prison for uh, nine years for trafficking because she had some... <clears throat> marijuana oil in a salve she used, if I understand correctly. But, like, they're accusing her of trafficking, and so many Americans are like, oh, but she can't be in a Russian prison. How awful. And um, acting all indignant about it. But, to be very fucking clear, Biden was responsible for the tough on drugs and crime legislation that led to a significant amount of people behind bars for exactly the same thing in the U.S. for that long and longer. Um, Forbes reported in 2020 that 40,000 Americans are incarcerated for marijuana offenses. It, it continued. An estimated 40,000 people today are incarcerated for marijuana offenses, even as the overall legal cannabis industry is booming. One state after another is legalizing and cannabis companies are making healthy profits. That discrepancy is dead wrong. Four activists agreed this week. They spoke at a webinar on how to achieve racial justice in the cannabis space, whether that means getting people released or finding them a job. The panelists also focused on the cannabis industry itself can do to help. Quote, there are 70 million people in this country with criminal records, and each and every one of them goes through hell finding a job, said Richard Bronson, founder and CEO of 70 Million Jobs, a staffing agency for people with criminal records. Quote, many, many are men and women of color who have done their time, and too many are in jail for activity that has subsequently been legalized. It's an irony of gruesome proportions, end quote. So, the U.S. government is making a big fucking deal. And the U.S. lapdog media, by extension, is making a big fucking deal about something that happens all the Fucking time here! And instead of realizing that maybe that's evil and hypocritical and reducing the amount of government out there and expunging the criminal records of all the marijuana offenses that were relegated on a fucking federal level like the federal government could do that like that Biden could issue pardons like that but instead they want Brittany Griner partnered or pardoned they want her partnered sure we'll call it that my verbal blunder was intentional actually um, we'll call it Parnered because that person was kidnapped and caged by Russia. 
That person was abducted by Russian police. And that means that they get international attention. That person worked for a mega corporation, WNBA. That means they get international attention. And tons and tons of people begging for her release, campaigning for her release. But how about Felipe down the street? How about Hakeem down the block? They don't get shit! Because this system doesn't care about the people it's currently slave labor benefiting from. And the prison and police industrial complexes are fucking huge money makers. So it doesn't matter that it's equally unjust for American police and courts and prisons to do this to American citizens in America. What matters is that they get to feel better because they're opposing Russia. And yeah, fuck Russia. But you know, there are some people here who are even here longer. You know, in, in prison here longer than Brittany Griner's nine-year sentence. And, and it's fucking hard to get... <laughs> to get a job here after you're out. So you're basically stuck in prison anyway. Because your choice is to either go back into your life of victimless crime, get into less victimless crime, or relegate yourself to homelessness while the system which is at the beck and call of the criminal justice system, um, they get to fuck your life up. Get to make prospects for finding, finding an apartment slimmer. Make prospects for finding a job slimmer. Make it harder for you to legally defend yourself. List goes on. But it's okay because it's happening here. And if you get fucking caged by an American, that's fine! Hunter Biden is a great example of U.S. double standards. Why isn't he in jail? Why isn't he in prison? He was on fucking camera with crack cocaine and soliciting prostitutes. But he's fine because he's related to the president and it's happening here where the president can decide that. Where the criminal justice system can say, yeah, we can jail whoever we want, pardon whoever we want, and don't call us corrupt, don't call us evil, just Russia! Right? Anything the United States government does is fine. But anything the Russian government does is automatically 100% evil. Not like they're both wrong. Not like Biden is a massive fucking hypocrite for writing all that tough on crime and drugs legislation and now backing off of it because his boy is suddenly on the hook. Not like he could pardon a bunch of fucking nonviolent drug offenders and expunge their criminal records tomorrow! Sorry, I'm taking a drink every time I say something bullshit. It's, it's fucking absurd. And I'm tired of it. 
I'm tired of fake woke activists acting like Cop Mala and Jim Crow Joe are somehow beacons of social justice or that opposing Russia is a personality or especially just. I mean, yeah, fuck Russia. But the U.S. does everything they do, basically. And this is certainly not an exception to that general statement. So why should the U.S. not set the global example for freedom and stop jailing people for a plant? Can somebody explain that to me? Because I got to tell you, at none of the places where I have been that there has been weed, at none of the places that I have been where people have been smoking it, myself included, has there been a victim because of it. Except obliterated snack food containers and messy, messy apartments and shit like that. The system, if it's to truly stand clearly on this issue, needs to not leave it at Brittany Griner. And it needs to not leave it at Russia. Either decriminalize it and legalize it and all of the uh, like people in prison for it get out and get their criminal records expunged, or shut the fuck up about Russia doing this with Brittany Griner. Because you don't actually give a shit. You just don't like Russia. And you're using this as an excuse to be nationalist, and use a minority being prosecuted for drug crimes as a political football. You are exploiting people just like the criminal justice system here is. And you don't actually care. You just want Democrats to succeed and Russia to look bad. If you do care, then put pressure on this allegedly so progressive administration to do something about it. And if they won't, realize that you're not part of the solution because you support Biden or because you hate Russia. Because the U.S. government is just as bad. And the only time they aren't is when it's somebody they nepotistically fuck with. Like Hunter fucking Biden. Him and his Burisma Ukrainian deals and him trafficking women from Ukraine. Yeah. Yeah, hmm, it's almost like there's a fuck ton of corruption here. And that's the real reason the Britney Griner story gets more coverage than Felipe down the street. Or <clears throat> Hector down the block. Or any of the other people who are being prosecuted now in your city or town or district now. Instead of looking outside the country so constantly for a boogeyman, recognize that the boogeymen are here. And that this is part of the human condition. Corruption is part of the human condition. And it is not bound by any borders. Meanwhile, they're getting 87,000 more IRS agents uh, instead of ending the, <laughs> the homelessness problem as part of the Inflation Reduction Act. As part of Build Back Better. And those 20,000... That, 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 sorry, that, that, that homelessness problem, which could be for 20 billion eliminated, which they keep on throwing that 20 billion elsewhere, sometimes literally to foreign countries... That homelessness problem is why drugs are so thick, is why guns are so thick, is because you're going to get more crime if people have less to lose. And you're going to get more people trying to escape brutal conditions if that's what you create. But they're, they're funding 
87 thousand more irs agents they want it like more than fucking border patrol the pentagon just like all these things combined i hate that i can agree with ted cruz while being more leftist than most of you not my subscribers that is though once you press that button you're pure but you know just to be clear most of the left has a significant problem here especially since they refuse to acknowledge that Biden isn't a leftist and that he's not good for the left either. But if Biden actually gave a shit and it wasn't just about fuck Russia, he'd be pardoning a lot more than Brittany Griner. He'd be on a lot more people's sides than Brittany Griner. He doesn't actually give a fucking shit. And neither do most of the people talking about her. Neither do most of the people talking about this situation in general. Because if they did, there's 40,000 other Britney Grinders at a minimum now. And more being made every fucking day. And that could stop. The U.S. government could federally decriminalize and legalize marijuana. And marijuana byproducts. Will they do that? No, they'll lie and claim that it's a Schedule 1 narcotic, just as bad as cocaine, and then they won't jail Hunter Biden, even though we had it on video! Because we live in a corrupt, fascist oligarchy. And if you think anything else, it's because you're bought. So... With all that being said, feel free to like, share, and subscribe this angry rant and uh, throw some money in there if you want to improve my financial situation. Because let me tell you, I'm not doing so hot either. But what I will do every single day is put out excellent content for y'all. Because let me tell you, there's a lot more corruption than these motherfuckers want you to think there is. And that's why... We all need to smash the fucking state.